Okay, our next speaker in this session will be Laura Martin. And Laura is going to be talking on the impact of local weather on European badger capture success implications for bovine tuberculosis management. Thanks, Laura. Thank you. Uh, this is part of my PhD research. And just to give a brief introduction, James has done a great job uh, providing some of that. But as you know, bovine tuberculosis is a threat to livestock and wildlife around the world. And Ireland is one of the world's top exporters of beef, and its beef and dairy industries combined contribute about 5 billion euro to its economy. Although Ireland has had a strict control program, it hasn't led to eradication of the disease in cattle, and this is the result of a wildlife reservoir, the European badger. The badger is a, a small nocturnal carnivore that lives in complex underground burrow systems called sets, and it's because it's a protected species in Ireland, um, it has been managed in the past with culling, but we'd like to be moving away from that. So they're moving towards this idea of disease control using vaccination. Now vaccination requires capture and handling of the animals for administration. So badgers as carnivores are already a bit difficult to capture. They're nocturnal. They live underground quite a lot of the time. So in order to be able to vaccinate a large proportion of the population, we need to improve our capture success. So. Um, there are certain factors that are known to be associated with capture success, such as the trap type and trap placement, but we were interested in um, other potential factors to improve capture success of badgers. Specifically, we wanted to look at whether local weather influences capture, su capture success of badgers. Just a brief overview of our methods. We used data from the Kilkenny vaccine trial in County of Kilkenny with over 19,000 set nights of information. This was conducted from 2010 to 2013 over three different um, zones within the county. Badgers were trapped overnight using stopped restraints, then anesthetized, permanently marked with a tattoo, given a vaccine, and released. Factors that we looked at were daily minimum and maximum temperatures, as well as a weather score that was assigned for conditions overnight when badgers were thought to be active based on precipitation. We also looked at set type, whether or not it was a main set, which is one that's used continuously throughout the year and for breeding or a non-main set, as well as a set activity score. Each set is given a score from zero to five based on signs such as tracks, latrines, paths, and digging, and tr sets with scores of three or higher are designated for trapping efforts. Other factors that we examined were the number of restraints laid, as well as season and year. For the analysis, we started with a descriptive analysis to get a sense of our data, and then used that to build multivariable logistic regression mixed effects models that controlled for clustering at the set and zone level while controlling for all the other factors within the model. Finally, we conducted a model selection using Akaiki's information criterion. And then I'll just briefly review our results. Overall, we had about 1,800 successes um, which is a rate of about 9.4% for the total number of set nights of trapping. There were between 380 and 550 badger captures per year. As far as weather, we saw more captures in different rain conditions compared to dry. And then we saw a nonlinear relationship between mini minimum temperature and badgers captured. So we ended up categorizing the temperature data into these four categories based on quartiles. As far as the set characteristics, we saw more captures at main sets versus non-main sets and more captures at more active sets. Our best model from the model selection included these different risk factors, and I'll focus specifically on the weather, temperature, and set characteristics. As far as minimum temperature, we used the lowest category as our baseline and found that uh, the odds of capturing badgers were increased at temperatures of 3 to 5 and 6 to 8 Celsius. 
As far as the weather scores, we saw that for three of our four different categories of rainfall, as compared to dry weather, we had increased odds of capturing badgers, and those odds increase as the rainfall severity increased, all the way up to um, an additional 50% more likely to capture badgers in heavy rain. Not surprisingly, for set type, we saw that main sets, we were more likely to capture badgers than at non-main sets. And with set activity, we saw more marked um, odds ratios where scores of four or five were 2.6 to 3.1 times more likely to capture badgers than at sets with a score of three. So what does this all mean? First of all, capture success is highest when minimum temperatures are in a moderate range, this three to eight range. So like us, badgers seem to prefer temperatures that are not too hot and not too cold. Capture success was highest in rain, and this correlates with um, observations by the field staff, and this is thought to be due to a couple of different factors. First of all, badgers are known to have earthworms as an important food source, and we know that earthworms emerge after rainfall, so badgers are likely to take advantage of an easy protein source after rainfall. In addition, rain is likely to remove human scent from around sets and restraints and may make badgers less wary of emerging or approaching uh, restraints in the field. Not surprising that set activity scores of four or five increase badger captures compared to three, but the magnitude of those differences is really striking and shows that that's a really important factor for consideration for the field staff. Overall, Trapping is a time and labor intensive effort, so in order to best prioritize the resources of the department, we'd like to be able to use local weather and set characteristics to guide decision making. So based on our study, we would recommend prioritizing efforts for that minimum temperature range of three to eight, as well as sets with activity scores of four or five, main sets, and r during rainfall, which in Ireland we have plenty of opportunity for. So the hope is that vaccination can not only help reduce the disease burden of TB in cattle, but move Ireland towards its eradication goal, as well as benefiting species conservation of the badger by reducing the need for culling and reducing TB burden in that species. I'd like to thank my co-authors, as well as the field staff, especially John Cummins and Richie Brown, and the Morse Animal Foundation that provided my funding. And those are just a few credits for photos, and I'm happy to take any questions that you may have. Excellent. Thanks very much, Laura. That was beautifully presented. Any questions? Can I then, as a chairman, ask you how you define your different uh, weather conditions in Ireland? So what is light drizzle versus heavy rain? <laughs> <laughs> Those were um, used by the, the, the field staff, and it's just their best judgment okay. of what those conditions are. Okay. We've got some light drizzle out there today, if anybody wants to feel it. <laughs> Any other questions? Yeah. Oh, can you just wait until the, the microphone comes? Sorry, thanks. Sorry. Um, was there any difference um, in trap rates between cage traps versus restraints? Um, this was all data from restraints. Okay. If there's no further questions then, thanks very much, Laura. That Thank was excellent. You.